Hello, I'm John Morrill, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up some simple unit tests using Visual Studio 2010. Unit tests are extremely useful, of course, in testing your application, particularly when you are developing libraries which don't have any type of, of user interface. Before, before Microsoft integrated the unit test tool inside Visual Studio, more often than not, developers were forced to create test drivers, usually Windows console applications. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a test driver using the unit test tool. For our demonstration, we created a simple class library called Demo. It has a class called talk, and when we open it, we see it has a single method with the very common hello world method. What we're going to do now is we are going to create a unit test that will call this method. To do that, we go up to our test menu, and we select new test. Here you see a dialog box comes up, and what we're going to want is unit test wizard. Notice that down here on the add to test project, it says create a new C sharp test project. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, just by the way, you could also do Visual Basic or C++, but we're going to do C sharp. So we press OK, and it asks us for a name. We'll keep it very simple. We'll call it unit test. Do a create. And now it brings up a dialog box which is going to ask us which methods that we want to test. And if we move down the tree, we finally come to our say hello method. Of course above it there's the class, the namespace, and the uh, actual project. So we do select say hello test. It now brings up this uh, new class it created by itself within the project uh, talk test and it created a method to test our method. Now you notice it puts in a lot of generated code quickly going through what this code does. That creates a new instance of the class. This string expected, this is a value you would test against to see whether or not you got your expected value. That would be the actual value. Here's where it's calling the method. And then here it's doing an assert. An assert is a special type of method within the unit test framework. Um, that essentially is a type of test. In this case, we're testing that the actual value uh, is equal to the expected value. Now, the other thing it automatically generates is something called assert inconclusive. Um, that's just kind of something it sticks in to remind you to test to see, to check to see whether or not you've done all the tests you want. So the first thing we can do is delete that. Now actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to open notepad and I am going to get uh, something I've already created here. Now in the future uh, for the other test I'm going to go ahead and edit out that whole cut and paste sequence so what you'll actually see in the video is you'll see me uh, paste in new code um, idea get the video moving a little, quick, a little bit quicker. So now that we created this test, the next thing we want to do is actually run this test. So we notice over here that under solution items is created something called demo um, VSMDA I. And if we open that, we see we have this um, uh, actual 
uh, dialogue here, uh, full screen dialogue. Uh, then we go over here to press refresh. And this will actually uh, bring up the test that we just created. To run this test, we just check it. Right click, select the run check test. And here it shows our test results and it shows passed. You can actually view the uh, test results detail and you can see there's really nothing special there. Uh, just tells us our test passed. Now the next thing we're going to show is uh, adding another test after you've already created your test project. So we'll go to talk. We'll go get our predefined code very quickly. Go to our test, new test, unit test. Now here, it since we've already got a test project, it uh, suggests the one for me. Uh, once again, going down the tree, select the say goodbye method, and we select that. OK. In this case, we're going to do something just a bit different. Instead of using this, we're going to actually write the value out to a console. Uh, that's to show you how um, you can view console uh, output uh, within your test results. And then we'll run the test. Now, since we've created a new test method, we again hit refresh. Uh, we select this to be the test to run. Run check test. We see it passed. Right click, view detailed test results. And here you see that it actually has a section called standard console output, which it wrote to console output. Then the final thing we're going to look at is actually how to use unit test to do debugging. So to do that, we're going to add a method that we know is going to fail. OK, and very quickly, we see we've got a divisor by 0. We're going to try to divide by that, and that will obviously fail. So once again, a little repetition, but Helps you get on. Do this. Okay. Run the check test. Now at this point we notice it failed. So if we right click here and ask for the results detail, we can see that it threw an attempt to divide by zero method. Now let's pretend that we actually had no idea why that happened. So actually we can right click here and do something called open test takes us immediately to our test. We're going to put a debug line right there. We're going to go back to our test list editor and this time instead of run check test we're going to debug check test. We run that. Hits our breakpoint. And then from there, we can actually step into the class, which using standard debug methods, we can see that the divisor was 0. So of course, we expect it to fail. We'll stop the debug. So just to quickly review, uh, we demonstrated how to create uh, a unit test project uh, by using the um, um, test menu. We demonstrated how to add methods to that project. Uh, we de demonstrated the different things that you can do within your test methods, and we demonstrated how to do debugging. I am John Morrow, and I hope this short uh, video was very helpful to you.